This is not an expert channel, this is my progress vlog. When I make a system or solve a problem for a personal project, I record it here for myself and the whole world. The animation you are seeing inspired three videos, one about my early experiments with line art and some real life issues you may encounter, the second is a tutorial about creating and using a black and white mat for masking, and the third one on making a powerful transition system between multiple images or materials. All three videos are live on the channel and this is the third one hello guys today we will create this transition system on a plane this system you can use with images or with any material this tutorial will have uh, three levels of complexity the first level is to just add a fade transition the second level is to add a fancy transition like this this wave transition here and the third level is to add multiple images to your transition so that you can transition like here from image 1 to image 2 and then to image 3 to as many images as you want. Before starting the tutorial I have to admit that I am no expert of nodes so to create this tutorial to create my setup because I created it first for my use and then I shared it with you. So the first tutorial is about adding the stylized gradients. It's a tutorial by Ducky Treaty so thanks to him. The second tutorial is from CG Boost. He creates a gradient node but the gradient notes here is simpler and easier to do but what I took from this tutorial is uh, his use of an empty tool transition between two materials we will use the system to transition between two images but really you can transition between any materials and actually any number of materials in our case this second tutorial from CG Boost thank you CG Boost the third tutorial is by the observatory and it is about switching images and we will use the technique planned here I think as method one it's called three simple ways to animate face textures method one is explained here and before that too I think we took the switching images techniques all those math nodes thank you the observatory thank to all the people who are making great tutorials on YouTube and helping us beginners I will leave you the links of these three videos in the description so let's start by creating a new 2d animation file let's delete the stroke object here let's disable this scene worthy so that we see our beautiful gray background and now we will add an image as a plane so import images as planes of course before you can do this you should enable the import images as planes plugin so let's choose this image let's use shadeless you can use principled of course and let's disable alpha we don't need it uh, import images as planes so let's import our image let's select our camera and let's zoom in we won't zoom in of course we just get closer to our image so g y like this here is our beautiful image now we select it let's go to this plus sign and add a shade and tap let's hit zero on the keyboard on the name pad to be able to see our image and this is the material of our image so this is the shadeless node that you can only find in your import images as planes plugin to add a transition we will first disconnect this image and leave it here and then we create a gradient and that gradient will help us transition between images the gradient will be black and white the black will represent one image the white will represent the second image so shift a hit s to search for the node we need and type in gradient yes this one it's a gradient texture a gradient would need a color and for color we will add a color ramp so shift a s for search color and here is our color ramp and now we can connect our gradient nodes with the color ramp and the color ramp with our shadeless material here voila you see we got a gradient we can tweak here to have it look like this <coughs> so the black side is for one image the white side is for the other image so now we can add two more nodes before this node and if you have your uh, the node wrangler uh, plugin active here you can just select this node the gradient node and hit ctrl t to add these two nodes if you don't have that plugin enabled you can just add these two nodes some people use nodes much some people don't use them much so if you seldom use nodes just add the mapping node here and the texture coordinate node here these two nodes will help us control more our gradient and we want to add an empty to control the gradient to be able to control it just here from the viewport and to be able to keyframe frame it of course to do that we will need this texture coordinate and to add an object here first let's add our object shift a empty and let's add an empty with arrows it's too big so let's resize it as and just a little bit so let's select the plane again and here we should change from generator to object so that we can use our objects for control so from this dot to this dot and now we use the eyedropper to choose our new empty 
and now if you select the empty and move it with G you see that we already have our transition now if you just want a fade effect the tutorial is almost finished for you so let's select the plane I want first this gradient to be aligned with this Z axis here of the empty so let's go to the mapping node and go to location X and move it let's hit shift to make our movement more precise and here we are there's one thing I want to change here is this from linear to easing we can adjust more here if you don't want a gradient you want just black and white you can do that too you can change from linear to constant and you see you have just black and white let's change to ease let's add a second image let's select this one hit shift D to duplicate this node let's add a mixing node to mix these two images so shift A again S to search mix I think we need the mix RGB one let's connect it here but let's connect this system here to the fact here so that this system will control the blend between these two images the first image we connected here and the second image they're actually the same image now connected to the second color and now we change the image for this one for example and voila we have a fade in transition a beautiful fade in transition you can leave your setup like this you can if you have multiple images you can do the first transition render it and then do the second change your images here and do the second transition if you just want to do some quick render i just need the more complicated setup because i want to do the same renders multiple times with different images if i have a complete setup with keyframes and everything i can just change the images and do the render quickly so let's continue to the second stage the second stage is to make our fancy textures and to do that we will need to mix our gradient texture with the beautiful texture that we want so let's do shift a and s and then type in texture and you see here that we have a lot of textures and a lot of these can be used for our transitions all these textures you can experiment with you can of course make it more complicated and add more textures and combine them so let's do the wave texture let's add a wave texture here i think i'm gonna just duplicate this node the mixing node so shift d duplicated here this gradient was connected to color one and we connect our wave texture to the second color we have this effect here let's change the x to y to make the waves horizontal and now we can play with the scale of the wave let's make them a little bigger play with this distortion play with the detail with the noise scale we can play also with these sliders here on the color ramp again we don't have a transition yet we mostly have a wave texture that is on the whole of our plane that's just as if we connected this one directly here you see a wave on the whole of the plane so let's connect it here again this one to this one very nice and what we need to change is the fact here so let's reduce it to give more power to the gradients and now we have this transition so if we didn't have our images let's try to connect the color ramp directly to our material you see that we have this transition so connect this instead here stage two is finished we have a beautiful texture here you can of course have a different texture so let's try for example the brick texture here let's connect it instead of our wave texture and you see we have this bricks let's change the scale this is one of the cool effects you can have so now we go to the third stage you can again stop here so now we want to be able to switch between different images here and different images here using sliders here so we create two more empties to act as control so shift a empty arrows resize it let's move it with G here and let's duplicate it leave them here to use them later and now I want to add a third image here so let's duplicate this guy choose a different image like this eye image here and now we will need to mix these three images I think I'm gonna disconnect them from here and then duplicate this mix node let's connect one of the images here and the second one here and now to connect the third image we will need another mix shader duplicate and connect this guy here and this guy here let's connect this guy here to the first color to do some testing so here if you start to change these sliders you can see that you can change your image both on one it's the eye if they are both on zero it's the girl if one is on one and the other one is on zero it's the boy here instead of these sliders we want some math nodes to control these guys so that we can switch images just by changing simple values shift a s math 
and choose the Smith node here. And we will need to duplicate it twice for these two mix nodes. So Control D and we change this one I think to greater than and connect it to the fact here change the sky i think to one now we duplicate again and connect it to the fact here and change this to two this guy here should be connected to this one and also connected to the second one now if you start messing around with this guy you can see that we already can control which image appears just by changing this value here but i think i should change this to zero and then add another node it's called value it's just a value node and node with a value this one we will connect to this slider actually by using a driver so let's connect it here and let's do another test if it's less than one it shows the first image if it's more than one it shows the second image or greater than one if it's greater than two it shows the third image so if you have more images Four images you will add more of these nodes and you will in the next node change this threshold to three so we did the first half of our transition but now how to do the second half this part is actually easier than the first part because we will just select these nodes the nodes we just created and duplicate them so shift d and duplicate these guys here in the bottom let's get these here and now let's connect our images to these new mixing nodes by going here and connect it in the right place just as we did above so this guy is connected to the second color so let's connect it to the second color and this one is connected to the first color so let's connect it also to the first color and now we connect this mix shader to the other the big the the master mix shader okay strangely enough we have the same image that's because we have the same value here so if we change the value in our second value thingy we have different images very nice all we need to do is to add drivers to connect them to these beautiful guys so let's add the driver to this first value node so right click here add a driver let's change this to var for now just var let's choose an object so my empty is empty 001 okay so let's choose it edit driver empty 001 very nice the type is uh, z location i want to be able to change or to switch images by changing the z location of this empty again edit driver the mode oh no z location not z rotation and instead of workspace we use local space almost always you will need to to use local space for your drivers i think we can test this guy now move it with g on the z axis let's hit g and then z and move it maybe we should just hit one hide our camera here for now zoom out a little bit g z and move this guy yeah it's working but it needs to go all the way up i think i need to edit the value a little bit so that i don't need to go all the way here i think i'm gonna add my drivers panel here so drivers hit in and here's my driver maybe lower this value a little bit like minus 10 maybe i think i'm also gonna constrain its movement so let's hit n and in location we will just allow the z c movement so that it won't go left or right or hit n again and now we can just move it like this yes so instead of minus, I guess I should use plus. So plus 20, now it's too much. Plus five, it's still too much. So plus one, yes. So this is much better, but I still need to go very far to change the images. How to make this happen faster? I think I need to do some multiplication of the var. So let's multiply it by 10 and try this out yes this is much faster and much better very nice so we did it and now let's add the second driver we will just need to copy these values especially this one so Control c and go here right click add driver change this to this value var multiplied by 10 plus 1 i can't use the eyedropper i guess this empty is called mm -hmm. here i can use the eyedropper so empty 002 change the type to z location and change the space to local space and also we we'll constrain the movements of this empty and lock x lock y keep only z and now and again voila 
this is our complete setup let's just add some uh, groups here so our uh, transition notes here we could add to a group i think we need to control j yes this is the group <laughs> lower notes here could be added to a group too control j and our upper ones could be added to a different group control j again let's name this group let's hit n and go to yes to label here and name it transition so this is it thank you for watching if you want to support the channel go to my gum road in the description all the paid files there are connected to tutorials on the channel so also go to the channel and watch the tutorial you may need to improve your knowledge about blender thank you for watching and see you in another video peace